ceased plea on the need for the judge, whomever it is, to be under oath before they accept any kind of affidavit, evidence or claim, which, by the way, the prosecution must present in a plea hearing, then that is something at least, at least, that may, may give. But your risk is going in there and appearing arrogant without knowing what you're doing. So this is a, a bit like what we're saying. There's no point going to court feeling confident with a couple of pieces of paper that you can whack something out just by a, 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 a monologue or, or something. It is all back to what I said. You are the key. You are the magic bullet. So I would go and have a look at that. I'd have a look at, at the issue of the, of the oath. And I would tread very, very warily that the paperwork, unfortunately, is not going to help you in two days or three days before you go to court. I hope that at least gives you an honest answer. It's meant to be an honest answer. Um, maybe some of the callers who are on, who are listening, might be able to chip in and give some additional material. Okay? Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, I thought we were using something, uh, another term besides exhibit. Yes. Um, my mind is at a loss at the moment to the right words, but hopefully we can get um, a call on to give us an answer to that. Ron, I see, is up there, so we can ask Ron about that. Yeah. All right, let me go to the phone lines real quick, and we'll catch Maine first, since they're number one in the question queue. All right, Maine. Hi, this is Paula. Hi, Paula. Hi, Paula. Hey, I wanted to give you a little bit of good news, I guess, um, and an update about our situation. But today I went to court on a tenant issue, okay? And I told the judge, and I gave him some paperwork. Unfortunately, I may have poked the bear in the eye, but it turned out okay because he, um, I do believe he's basically a good man, but the circumstances of his job has led to him denying us our due process rights in the past. Yeah. So I said, I have to ask you to disqualify because you signed a warrant that I don't agree was reasonable search of our home. And um, you didn't give me a trial in my speeding traffic case, but he denied my request to dismiss him, to have him disqualified. And he actually ruled in our favor, though. It was a pretty much hands-down case. So the man had owed me some money because yeah. he uh, moved from my property where he was renting, and I had started an eviction process, and um, he sort of signed paperwork saying that was the amount owed, more or less. When you evict someone, you try to serve them the paper showing what they owe you. So um, it went pretty good. Well, that's great, Paul. And, and do you feel, as you've read more on what's happening, that you, you're yourself becoming more competent? Well, I guess if the judge hadn't ruled in our favor, I probably wouldn't feel that way. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I did everything I could to try to settle with the man. First, I went to his house when I found out where he had moved to, and I said, you know, you owe me some money. Can you please, you know, see if you can settle up with me somehow and he didn't want to so yeah. um but as far as my husband's um the felon charge from 30 years ago that he's been um ha he's they're hauling him in tomorrow to court and we're not sure why i called the courthouse and tried to find out from the district attorney but we he won't get back to me so now my husband does not want me to go with him and he wants to go alone and do this and i said don't say anything I have prepared a inform a papyrus and told him and making cheat sheet for him that if they ask him for a social security number, I've been told by some people to tell him um, it does not apply because the Privacy Act forbids them to get to deny you help if you don't give that information. 1974 Privacy Act. So I've uh, tried to arm myself with a little bit of a things that he just does not want me going and maybe it's for the better I um, don't know the strategy I was going to use was um, I was if I went with him I was just going to go in ahead of him and just drop his informa papyrus sheet off 
and um, tell them that until he's appointed attorney, he does not want to talk to the, the court. He doesn't want to go into the court, but I don't know if that would work. I don't even know for sure what... Tomorrow is his first appearance. He's not going to enter a plea. I, I don't believe it's for that reason. And I have also written on the paper for him to ask for a probable cause here if they want to try to proceed to any uh, plea of any sort and to demand his uh, right to counsel. Well, I think I think it's really important. Um, I mean, there's a couple of issues which you're saying there. And, and again, thank you for... for sharing the first 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 thing I'd say is that if we are facing a problem we all have to learn and I in particular have had to learn not to be stubborn or proud to ask for help and know that that help is something that doesn't denote that we are weak or that uh, we're asking people to, to view our laundry or anything but that if we stay as islands, as, as isolated spirits, then they can and will continue to feel that they can pick us off one by one. So I think that is, I think, a bigger issue in this than just the felon. It's the issue that we work together. Now, he is going in very much like the issue we were talking about before, into the lion's den, um, almost in a classic um, star chamber of a matter 30 years ago coming out of the blue and coming back in so uh, to me that that is a, a more important issue than trying to work out how to to beat it because if the ones we love and the ones we know don't accept that we need to work together then that is the problem for the future this is it's not going to go away tomorrow yeah it could you could neutralize the issue you could keep it to the minimum. The deeper issue is is reaching out and asking for help and then allowing people to work through with the right discernment on how to present yourself. Or if if one feels completely incompetent, then to recognise then, you know, the attorneys are there to um, turn you into the system, which is what their job is, to turn you into the system. And if you pay enough and they like you enough, then the penalty may be reduced. So he has to make a choice. He can't sit in the middle of the road here. He has to decide what he's going to do. But good luck with you with what you're doing with him. And then there are many people on these calls, as you've heard, people from all over who are willing to share their experience, and you're not alone, but your husband needs to recognise that the reason, the, the key reason these people still get away with it is that they pick us off one by one by one and we keep acting as ones by ones by ones. Yeah? Yes. Um, I don't know if I'm still not muted here. Can I say something? Are you there? I can hear you. Yep. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I have been trying to convince them of that and I really, um, I don't know, I guess I just, I'm worried for him but I don't want to go and get him upset well, you know, but I just, um, the the attorney part, we do, if he does get an attorney appointed, I do have a, a strategy of dealing with it, hopefully, um, that will get enough support from the community, but I'm really, I'm planning on putting an ad in the paper. I have yep. gone to a community center to see if I could get, uh, it looks like I can get a meeting place set up for free. And yep. the ad will probably be free because local newspapers sometimes do that for people. It's a good way to uh, reach out to other people. So I'm going to try that because um, it's really a tragedy what they're doing. With A lot of people in that situation have uh, records in the past. And it's just a, a very, there's a big divide between the federal uh what they make you believe are federal constitutional uh, violations and all these different laws when we really just need to have the basics and uh, less less laws, more common sense rulings by judges and if there's going to be these judges that they're going to be um, kept in line by the people because the people are going to have to watch over to make sure. 
yeah. judges are, you know, uh, keeping in with the ideas of justice. You know. Well, keep, keep us informed. Let us know. Good luck with your husband, and and just know that you're not alone. Okay, and if if he needs to listen to some audios or talk to some other people, whatever helps him through this process. But as long as he doesn't feel that he and he alone has to face this, there are people who want to help. Okay, good luck, and we hear from you again and let us know what's happening. All right. We are in touch with people in our community, letting them know what's happening. So there's more and more good. people finding out. Good on you. Thanks. Thanks again. Bye bye. All right, we'll go to Ron. Hello, Ron. Hi, Terry. Hi, Frank. Hi, Ron. Hey, I got um, a question, and then I want to expand some uh, more on some of the the subject on the legal paperwork, stuff like that, that I've been doing. But my first question is, what reaction do you expect – from the Pope after he has served with um, these documents for Pentecost? Um, excellent question, Ron. I don't know. I mean, this Pope has said, has called, he's pleaded to God to end the age of garments rolled in blood. Now, in the, in the original Mithraic uh, religious ceremonies, um, they would walk into a procession in white linen garments and then they would be stripped and walked down into a a grated area. A bull or sheep or some animal would be slaughtered above them. The blood would drip down on them and this was a ceremony called Nisan. Uh, Nisan, which is the same uh, name that they named the month of Nisan after. And Mithraism, uh, they didn't use the word baptism, it was called Nisan. And then when they came back out, the garments were brought down in and they were rolled in the blood. And then they were handed back after they were dried. And so the, uh, they were now baptised uh, on the flesh and their garments were rolled in blood. So the Pope actually said he wanted to see the end of the age of the garments rolled in blood. A very odd, very odd historical comment, which says the end of Mithraism. So either he's bluffing and he doesn't want it to end and so it'll have no effect or it will play a part in at least seeing a change in their approach. But Ron, free will, (laughs) it's up to them. Yep. Okay. um, Remember about four days ago I emailed you the Accept Their Oath document written by Rob Ryder? Brilliant. I thought very impressed by Rob's work, and and it was excellent. It was. I I sent that to Gerald. Gerald converted it to a PDF file, and he said he posted it on U of U. But for the last week, I've had um, uh, website problems. I couldn't get on to check out where it was. So maybe Gerald can tell everybody where he put the document so everybody can find it. That would be great. Um, it'd be nice to know where the document is. Yep. And I, I guess um, what we can ask Gerald is that it can be made available because you've raised it in this call, at least on the home page, um, so we can at least get to it. Sure, yeah. sure. And I, uh, later on, now that I know how to get onto you review again, I'm going to create a, a category called legal documents, and I'm going to start posting stuff in there. So that'll help that everybody. Be- now that's under the downloads, yes. by the way. So you go to the be... University of Ukadi and then select downloads on the top toolbar, and then just drop down and look for uh, law documents. And I'll, I'm going to start categorizing stuff in there. That'd be great, Ron. Yeah, that would be um, really good for everyone. Now on getting getting our documents into the court system. Uh, it's, it's taken me a while to figure out exactly how to do it, but basically you use their court uh, format, but so what you would call it would be like a mandatory judicial notice of uh, an ecclesiastical deed poll, okay? 
then you just go through it and, and maybe do a couple of paragraphs 